நாராயணம் நமஸ்கிருத்த நரஞ்சய நரோத்தமம் தேவீம் சரஸ்வதீம் வாஜம் ததோ ஜய முதீரயே ஜிதம் தே புண்டரீகாட்ச நமஸ்தே விஸ்வபாவன நமஸ்தேஸ்து ஹிஷிகேஷ மகாபுருஷ பூர்வஜ சதக்ஷரம் பிரம்ம யீஸ்வர புமான் குணோர்மி சிருஷ்டி ஸ்திதி காலசல்லய பிரதான புத்தியாதி ஜகத் பிரபஞ்சசூஹு சனோஸ்து விஷ்ணுர்மதி பூதி முக்தி த சிருஷ்டிஸ்தித்தியந்தகாலேஷு திருதைவம் திருதா ஏவம் சம்பிரவர்த்தே குணப்பிரவத்தியா பரமம் பதம் தசிய அகுணம் மகத் தச்சானமயம் வியாபி ஸ்வசம்வேத்தியம் அனௌபமம் சதுஷ்பிரம் ததி ஸ்வரூபம் பரமாத்மன ஸ்ரீ மைத்ரேய உவாச்ச சதுஷ்பிரம் தசிய பிரம்மபூத்தசிய ஹே முனே மம ஆச்சக்ஷ்வதானியம் யதுக்கம் பரமம் பதம் So Parashara uh, has been uh, describing the vibhutis of Vishnu, uh, the four kinds of vibhutis that uh, Vishnu takes during both Srishti, Sthiti and uh, Antakalam. Uh, on all four, all, all three times, that is during the creation, sustenance and dissolution, Uh, Vishnu takes on four different vibhutis which is he is the adharabhutam and he is the prajapati also then he is the prajaha and the objects of the world to jaga kala sorry the fourth one is kala which is the catalyst kind of thing which uh, uh, brings in the karma for each of the jivas there next maitreya maitreya's question here is chatuf prakaratam brahma bhutasya tasya achakshva tell me about the uh, four types of uh, four stages or avastha that are there for a person who becomes a brahman that is a person who attains moksha now my parashara explains that he says மைத்ரேய காரணம் பிரம் சாதனம் சர்வஸ்துஷு சாத்தியம் வஸ்து அபிமதம் எத் சாதயிதும் ஆத்மன யோகினோ முக்தி காமசிய பிராணாயாமாதி சாதனம் சாத்தியம் பரம் பிரம் புனர் ந ஆவர்த்ததே எத மயே மைத்ரேய தர்வஸ்துஷு காரணம் எத் வித்தியதே ததேவ சாதனம் பவதி தத்திர வஸ்து அபிமதம் இஷ்டம் எத் பவதி சாதயிதும் சாதயிதும் இஷ்டம் எத் வர்த்தே தத்து சாத்தியம் பவதி சோ ஹி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டிஸ்டிங்ஷஸ் பிட்வீன் வாட் இஸ் சாத்தியம் அண்ட் சாதனம் சாதனம் இஸ் சம்திங் தட் இஸ் தி காஸ் ஆர் த மூலம் ஃபார் எவ்ரி வஸ்து இன் திஸ் வேர்ல்ட் சோ சர்வ வஸ்துஷு காரணத்தைய எத் வித்தியதே ததேவ சாதனம் தட் விச் இஸ் யுவர் காஸ் in every object that cause becomes your sadhanam uh, which is the jnanam atvam padartha jnanam and then there is something called a sadhyam which is the brahman and that is the vastu abhimatam you everybody wants to attain a sukha state a permanent blissful state from where we will not return at all and that permanent blissful state is the state of brahman here so uh, uh, parashara explains that sarva uh, vastushu karanam that which is there as the cause in uh, or, or the means of affecting that cause is called sadhanam and then the desire of that uh, uh, jiva the jiva has a desire to accomplish something yet abhimatam vartate abhimatam is the uh, ishtam ishtam sadhayitum atmanah sadhayitum abhimatam that which he wants to sadhayitum wants to achieve for himself uh, and that vastu which is the abhimatam which is the most ishtam that becomes the sadhya so this is in general this is what we try so let's take for example we want to achieve a ghatam we want to achieve a, a, an ear ring then the ear ring becomes your sadhya vastu because that is your ishtam abhimatam but what do you have to go for the karanam becomes the swarnam which is present in every object that you want to create now this is in a, a very laukikam example when you go to the uh, vedantik example யோகினா முக்தி காமசிய பிராணாயாமாதி சாதனம் சாத்தியம் பரம் பிரம் புனர் ந ஆவர்த்ததே எத சாத்தியம் பிகம்ஸ் தி பரம் பிரம் ஃப்ரம் வேர் யூ நெவர் வாண்ட் டு கம் பேக் ஆர் நெவர் 
यू कैन नेवर कम बैक पुनर् न आवर्तते मुक्ति कामस्य योगिनः फॉर अ योगी हु विशेस टू अटेन मुक्ति मोक्ष लिबरेशन फॉर हिम देयर आर टू थिंग्स अगेन वन इज साधनम व्हिच इज प्राणायामादि साधनम प्राणायाम एंड अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ योगा बिकम द साधनम बिकॉज दैट शुद्धीकरणम भवति तेन तेन साधनेन अत्र जीवस्य शुद्धीकरणम भवति tarhi jeevasya then the true nature of the jeeva is also understood by this process so the process to attain your abhimatam is your sadhanam and the abhimatam is the sadhya that which has to be achieved so mukti kamasya yoginah for a yogi who wants moksha pranayamaadi you take from yama niyama आसना प्राणायाम प्रत्याहार धारणा ध्यान समाधि ऑल ऑफ दीज बिकम द मीन्स ऑफ अचीविंग समथिंग एंड दैट विच हैज टू बी अचीव्ड साध्यम इज परम ब्रह्म यतः फ्रॉम विच देर इज नो रिटर्न दट इज वंस यू अटेन दैट परम ब्रह्म देर इज नो रिटेन कमिंग बैक रिटर्निंग बैक टू द स्टेट वेर यू वर् बिफोर ओके योगिनो मुक्ति काम से प्राणायाम आदि साधनम साध्यं च परम ब्रह्म पुनर् न आवर्तते यतः साधन आलंबन ज्ञान मुक्त योगिना यत स भेद प्रथम तस्य ब्रह्मभूत वै मुने द फर्स्ट कैंड दट इज द फर्स्ट वेरैटी ऑफ ब्रह्मभूत दट इज द कंडीशन ऑफ ब्रह्म द मोक्ष कंडीशन ऑफ अ पर्सन हू इज अ जीवन मुक्त सो द फर्स्ट थिंग इज यू नीड द कोंपदार्थ द नेक्स्ट इज द तत्पदार्थ then tvam tat aikya roopam then you have the sachidananda brahmam so there are four avasthas four states uh, if you take the mahavakyam the mahavakyam is tat tvam asi tat tvam asi tat ityukte brahman uh, and then tvam is uh, the atma within the jiva you are saying that these two are equal tat tvam asi and there is the, the atma swarupam that is beyond the jiva jagat and ishvara is parabrahmam so that is the fourth element turiyam now these four are going to be said in the next four shlokas sadhana alambanam gyanam muktaye yoginam hi yat yat yoginam muktaye sadhana alambanam gyanam vartate sadhanartham yat gyanam alambanataya api vartate yogina muktaye for the sake of liberation of yogis there is a knowledge which becomes the means that knowledge is the tvam padartha what is this tvam padartha when i say tvam when the guru points out to the shishya and says tvam he is not talking about the shariram here he is talking about the atma swarupam that is within that shariram which is beyond these five pancha kosha now that the understanding of that uh, uh, atma swarupa uh, to be the true meaning of the word tvam in the mahavakyam tatvamasi that is your gnanam and that gnanam becomes the sadhana alambanam yena yena gnanena sadhyam sadhaitum shakyam bhavati tad gnanam tu sadhanam bhavati that gnanam becomes your means to attain that parabrahma so that is the first you will have to think about yourself you can't think about the brahman or the abstract ishvara uh, uh, more than anything you first try to negate the qualities that are there within this jiva and try to understand whom the guru is talking about when he says tatvam asi iti so yoginam muktaye for the sake of for the liberation of uh, yogis yat gnanam the knowledge that becomes the alambanam that becomes your alambanam na pidippu ingro that is the uh, uh, it 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 is sort of ena uh, solradu yeah it's something that lets you um, catch hold of you know that brahman adha da sadhana alambanam gnanam this the sadhanam depends on this gnanam स भेद प्रथम त्रह्मभूत सह एव प्रथम भेद वै मुने हे मुने मैत्रेय दिस् इज युअर् 
first uh, uh, um, first type or first division of a uh, uh, moksha jivan mukta okay so this support yes so sadhana alambanam gyanam muktaye yoginam hi yat sa bhedaha prathamaha tasya brahma bhutasya vai mune if you look at uh, shri dasa swami's vyakyanam he clearly states each uh, uh, bheda in his see he says sadhanam dehatma vivekena tvam padartha shuddhi shuddhi ityukte tvam ityatra deha atma vivekena you understand that this body is different from the atma swarupa and you will remove all of these external qualities and understand the tvam as the shuddha atma swarupam that is present within this jiva tat alambanam tat shuddhatvam eva padartha vishayam gnanam chaturveda gnana bhutasya brahmanah prathamah bhedah so this is the first uh, category of that uh, the, the qualities of a person who has become a brahma brahman the next one is tappadartham yunjatah klesha muktyartham sadhyam yat brahma yoginah tad alambana vijnanam dvitiyah amshah mahamune he mahamune uh, uh, mukti klesha muktyartham yunjatah yoginah sadhyam yat brahma vartate तद आलंबन विज्ञान द्वितीय अंश द्वितीय भेद असी यू नीड द एक्चुअल द ट्रू मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड तत् तत् इज नॉट सम ईश्वर और समथिंग एल्स दट यू आर दट इज फार ऑफ और एनीथिंग अदर देन दैट बट यू इफ यू थिंक दट तत् इज दट ब्रह्मन देन यू विल हैव टू डू उपासना understand that uh, the the true nature of that ishvara and have that gnanam as your support then that becomes the meaning of this tatpada yunjatah yoginah klesha muktyartham for the uh, for to escape from this klesha suffering which is samsara for eternal uh, mukti that is klesha muktyartham to remove ourselves to liberate oneself from this uh, klesha the different kinds of sufferings that we can have starting from uh, you know janma mrityu jara everything okay all of these come under the category of samsara and that samsara is a the is your klesha so this klesha word refers to the samsaram uh, uh, which involves the cycle of birth and rebirth so klesha muktyartham yunjatah yogi a yogi who is uh, um, yunjatah who is making an effort or who has fixed himself uh, uh, to escape from this suffering yunakti is someone who has um, uh, attached himself to the process to some process yogah iti so yunjatah yogi ityute yaha yogi yunakti atmanam manah cha brahmani yunakti saha eva yunjatah idella vandu you would have studied in gita in different words right yunjan yogi iti vartate tatrapi so a person who makes an effort towards understanding the brahman and concentrates concentrates on the bhagavan uh, uh, or the atma swarupam using his mind uh, uh, complex then that yogi is called a yunjan yogi yunjatah yoginah iti tatra shashti vibhakti vartate so yunjatah yoginah klesha muktyartham in order to release himself from the suffering of this world a yogi who is making an effort for him sadhyam yat brahma vartate for him that which has to be achieved is brahman and sadhyam that is the second knowledge dvitiyah amshah saha eva okay so uh, tad alambanam vijnanam tad alambanam vijnanam is having that uh, brahman as your supportive understanding having a knowledge about that uh, brahman which is the support for a yogi who is making an effort to escape from suffering clear that that knowledge about the brahman is your second part yunjatah klesha mukya muktyartham sadhyam yat brahma yoginah 
तदालंबन विज्ञान द्वितीय अंश महामुने उभयोस्तु अभिभागेन साध्य साधन यो हि यत विज्ञान अद्वैत अद्वैतमय तत् भाग अन्य मैं उदित अद्वैत विज्ञान अयम तद्भाग अद्वैतमय यू कैन टेक इट एस बोथ जस्ट चेक वाट श्रीधर स्वामी गिव एनिथिंग स्पेशल हि एकाकार उभयो इति उभयो अभिभागेन उभयो साध्य साधन यो साध्यम बिकम्स युअर तत्पदार्थ साधन इज युअर तम पदार्थ फ्रम दि अर्लियर श्लोक ओके फोर्टी सिक्स सो साधन इज दि तम पदार्थ साध्य वुड बी दत्पदार्थ दैट विच हेज टू बी अचीव दट इज ब्रह्म भाव एव त्र साध्य कारणा त्र साध्यूपेण ब्रह्म एव त्र निर्दिश्य साधन तो अस्मदशे वर्त है द मीन आर् विद अस् सो साध्य साधन उभयो तो अभिभागेन विज्ञान अद्वैतमय दट देर इज नो डुवालिटी द नॉलेज दट दीज टू साधन एंड साध्य आर् नॉन् डिफरेन्ट अभिभागेन विदउट एनी डिफरेन्स बिटवी द टू यू अंडर्स्टा दिस एज अ फार्मेट आफ नॉन् ड्यूवल नेचर सो अद्वैतमय विज्ञान यत विद्य है तद्भाग अन्य मैं उदि दट इज दृतीय अन्य तृतीय भाग सो तत् एंड असी दट अस असी दट धातु इंडिकेट्स दि ऐक्यम बिटवी तत् एंड विच इज साध्य एंड साधन फॉर अ योगी उभयोस्तु अभिभागेन विदउट एनी डिफरेन्स बिटवी द टू साध्य एंड साधन द विज्ञान अद्वैतमय यत विद्य है तदे तृतीय ब्रह्मभूत से Now the fourth one is something beyond these three ज्ञानम ज्ञान वै तय विशेष यहामुने तराकरण द्वारा दर्शित आत्मस्वूपत ज्ञान वाट आर् द्री ज्ञान वन इज तम पदार्थ द नेक्स्ट वन इज तत्पदार्थ द थर्ड वन वॉज ऐक्य तत्ति उभयो ऐक्य ज्ञान ज्ञान त्र विशेष यहाँ देर इज एन एंटिटी बियॉन्ड दी स्त्री वेन ऐ से तत् इट इंडिकेट्स दि ईश्वर नॉट इट इंडिकेट्स द ट्रू नेचर ऑफ ईश्वर देर इज स्टिल द पार्ट ऑफ ईश्वर प्रेसेंट देर वेन ऐ से इट मीन दट इट इज द ट्रू नेचर ऑफ दिस जीव हु इज प्रेसेंट सो देर इज स्टिल दट जीव I am saying these two are equal. There is also a bhavam called aikya bhava. There are these three different knowledges that are present here. Tom padartha gyanam, tat padartha gyanam, tat aikya roopa gyanam. Iti gyana trayam vartate atra. Aduna tu chaturtham bhagam turiyam. Why do we say that Brahman is turiya? It is because it is beyond these three gyanam. there is a knowledge it is not a knowledge of brahman or knowledge of the jiva or knowledge of aikyam but it is knowledge so gnana swarupam iti so gnana tasya gnanatrayasya yaha visheshah he mahamune maitreya that which is different from these three knowledges तन निराकरण द्वारा बै रिमूविंग दो थ्री नॉलेज दर्शित आत्मस्वूप दट देन यू अंडर्स्टा दट आत्मस्वूप एज इज विदउट यूजिंग दीज पारामीटर्स दट इज युअर फोर्थ एंटिटी विच इज दि सच्चिदानंद रूपम ब्रह्म द नेक्स्ट थ्री श्लोक आर् गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दिस सच्चिदानंद ब्रह्म क्लियर so the first one was tvam padartha second was tat padartha the third is aikya vishaya then fourth is something beyond these three even your chin mudra that's the 
uh, understanding of the chin mudra you you remove the three and then you understand the aikyam there are many uh, uh, you know explanations for the chin mudra uh, but here there is the, you remove the three different kinds of gnanam tan nirakarana dwara by the rejection or by removal of those three gnanam darshita atmaswarupavat the atmaswarupa is understood and what sort of an atmaswarupa is understood by removing these differences that atma swarupam is being described in the next three shlokas so gnanatrayasya vaitasya visheshyo yo mahamune tan nirakarana dwara darshita atma swarupavat nirvyaparam anakheyam vyapti matram anupamam atma sambodha vishayam satta matram alakshanam prashantam abhayam shuddham durvibhavyam asamshrayam ವಿಷ್ಣೋರ್ಜ್ಞಾನಮಯಸ್ಯ ಉಕ್ತ ತಜ್ಞಾನ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸಂಹಿತ ಆರ್ ತಜ್ಞಾನ ಪರಮ ಪದ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ವರ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ನಿರ್ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಅನಾಖ್ಯೇಯ ನಿರ್ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ನಿರ್ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ನೋ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ನೋ ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಚಿತ್ತ ವೃತ್ತೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಈವನ್ ದ ಚಿತ್ತ ವೃತ್ತಿ ಆಫ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಪರ್ಸೀವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಇತಿ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ತುತ್ರ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ಕಾಚಿದಿ ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ನ ವರ್ತತೆ ಸೊ ಧ್ಯಾನಿ ಸರ್ವ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಶೂನ್ಯಂ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ವೇರ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ತತ್ರ ಧ್ಯಾನ ವಿಷಯ ಕಿಮಿ ವರ್ತತೆ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ವರ್ತತೆ ಧ್ಯಾತ ಯಹ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಕರೋತಿ ಸಹ ತೃತೀಯ ವರ್ತತೆ ದೇರ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಬಟ್ ವೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಕಾಶಂ ಹ್ಯಾಪೆನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪೆನ್ಸ್ ತುರೀಯ ಅವಸ್ಥಾಯ ನಿರ್ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ದಟ್ ಅವಸ್ಥಾ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿನೋನಿಮಸ್ ಟು ಎ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ವೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ನೋ ಅದರ್ ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ಧ್ಯಾನಿ ಸರ್ವ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಶೂನ್ಯ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ಎನಿ ವ್ಯಾಪಾರ ಎನಿ ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ಅನಾಖ್ಯೇಯ ಇಟ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟೆಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಎ ನೇಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಗಿವ್ ಎ ನೇಮ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಎ ಶಬ್ದ ಅಂಡ್ ಎ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನ್ ಅರ್ಥ ರೈಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಐ ಗಿವ್ ಎ ನೇಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅನ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ದೆನ್ there is a name there is a word for it and there is an object for it duality sets in even when you give a name for something like this so anakheyam akhyayasya na vidyate or akheyam yat na bhavati that which does not come within the range of naming at all so idam itham iti nirdesha anarham ayogya i cannot point out and say okay this brahman is like this iti nirdesha rahitam anakheyam ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಮನಸ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಕಾ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಕಾರತಾ ಮಾತ್ರ ರೂಪಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಕಾರತ ಆರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಕಾರ ಇಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅ ದೀರ್ಘ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆಕಾರತ ದ ಮನಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಮನಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ನೋ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೀಮ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಟು ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ but here the manas completely is enveloped by the brahma bhava brahma bhavastu moksha so vyapti matram ityukte tatra vyapakam kimapi uh, vyapyam kimapi nasti tatha there is no difference there there is only an enveloping nature of that sarvatra vyaptataya brahma vidyate that's all there is to it okay next uh, anaupamam ನಿರುಪಮಂ ಸರ್ವಜ್ಞಾನ ಲಕ್ಷಣತ್ವಾತ್ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ಅ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾರಿಸನ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಎಂಟಿಟಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಐ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ಎ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾರಿಸನ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಓ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಭಾವ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಡೂ ದ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ರಸಾನುಭೂತಿ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಅನುಭೂತಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಬಟ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾನುಭೂತಿ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ರಸಾನುಭೂತಿ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ not uh, uh, satisfying enough you know that is not a clear udaharanam there it is not a clear simile so anaupamam nirupamam it doesn't have any uh, simile because it is the representation of all knowledge there is no duality
it can uh, other the it's like the torch light you know a torch light we don't need another light for us to show where the torch light is the torch light reveals itself and its position in the same way this brahman also is a swayam prakasha swarupa atma sambodha vishayam it reveals itself it becomes a vishaya for understanding itself okay atma sambodha vishayam satta matram just uh, satya uh, uh, the, there is just the existence of it there is nothing else in it nirvikaram nishkriyam nirgunam if uh, there is na, no, no guna no kriya nothing in there there is only the existence of it satya gnana anandaadi vishesha shunyam there is no vishesham you can say satya swarupam but it is not satya visheshanataya tatra satyatvam tasmin vidyate iti vaktum na shakyate we cannot say that satyatvam is an adjectival feature for brahman we cannot say that jnanam is an adjectival feature this is removing the tarkikas matam where they say that there are eight different gunas in uh, uh, atma swarupa icha jnanam etc etc The, no such adjectival features are present in this brahman it is just existence alone satta matram alakshanam alakshanam manovritti rahitam that is i cannot define it there is no definition based on something else so alakshanam it cannot be defined or it cannot be identified using something else prashantam prashantam nan ragaadi shunyatvam there are no raga dvesha ityadikam nasti tatra अभयम भयरहितम यतः यत्र द्वैतम विद्यते तत्रैव भयस्य प्रसक्ति ही भवति अत्र तु द्वैतमेव न विद्यते ब्रह्म एकमेव विद्यते इति कारणात् तत्र भयमेव नास्ति द्वैत द्वैतस्य अस्फूर्तेः सो अभयम अभयम सत्त्वसंशुद्धि ही इकल सो अभयम मींस वेयर देयर इज ड्यूअलिटी देयर इज अ चांस ऑफ फियर एज लॉन्ग एज देयर इज नो ड्यूअलिटी and it is only the single entity there then there is no fear so abhayam shuddham shuddham again nirvishesham there are no adjectival features or it is pure it is partless entity so shuddham durvibhavyam it is difficult to understand tamil solrolle vindavar kandilai kandavar vindilai one one who has seen it have not spoken about it one who have spoken about it have definitely not seen it na so dur and it's it's not clearly explainable and understandable adavad in the inga adhe solla or you know give them a flower and say name the parts of the flower you will immediately start pointing out and saying oh this is the petal this is the stalk this is this this is this and uh, start labeling it tatha you cannot label this and uh, give a logic behind the parts of the brahman etc so dur vibhavyam very difficult to understand asamshrayam it does not have an ashraya it does asamshrayam iti तत्र आश्रय शून्य आश्रय रही आश्रय से आवश्यकता न विद्यते नॉट नीड एनी सपोर्ट बिकॉज इट इज द सपोर्ट फॉर एव्रीथिंग एल्स विष्णो ज्ञानमय से ज्ञानमय से विष्णो तत् ज्ञान ब्रह्म संत उत सो दिस् ब्रह्म दाम क्लेचर ऑफ ब्रह्म इज गिवन टू दिस् नॉलेज विच इज निर्व्यापारम प्रशात अभय शुद्ध एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा अनुपम तज्ञानम विष्णो ज्ञानम उत ज्ञानमय से विष्णो टेक इट एज ईश्वर स्वरूप इन अद्वैत वेदांत यू विल टेक दिस एज विष्णो इज योर ईश्वर स्वरूप एंड ही इज ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ नॉलेज तस् ज्ञानम दू नेचर ऑफ विष्णु देर इज given the name of brahman if you take it in pishita dvaita level then jnanamayasya vishnoho tad jnanam eva paramam padam that is his final abode and that is the final abode of everyone who is uh, 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 aspiring to get moksha okay clear prashantam abhayam shuddham durvibhavyam asamshrayam विष्णो ज्ञानमय से उत ज्ञान ब्रह्म संहित त्र अन्य रोधेन 
ಅಥವಾ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ತತ್ರ ಜ್ಞಾನ ನಿರೋಧೇನ ಯೋಗಿನೋ ಯಾಂತಿ ಏ ಲಯಂ ಸಂಸಾರ ಕರ್ಷಣ ಉಕ್ತೌ ತೇ ಯಾಂತಿ ನಿರ್ಬೀಜತಾಂ ದ್ವಿಜ ತತ್ರ ತತ್ರ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ತ್ವಂ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ತತ್ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಐಕ್ಯ ರೂಪಂ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಶುದ್ಧ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಸ್ವರೂಪಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಿ ಅನ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನ ರೋಧೇನ ಅನ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಅವಿದ್ಯಾರೂಪಾಣಿ ಮಾಯಾ ಸಂಬದ್ಧಾನಿ ಯಾನಿ ಯಾನಿ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ವರ್ತಂತೆ ತೇಷಾಂ ಜ್ಞಾನ ನಿರೋಧೇನ ಬೈ ದಿ ಅಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ವಿದ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರೆಲ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಯಾ ಎ ಯೋಗಿ ಹೂ ರೆವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ತತ್ರ ಅನ್ಯ ಜ್ಞಾನ ರೋಧೇನ ತತ್ರ ತಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಿ ಏ ಯೋಗಿನ ಲಯಂ ಯಾಂತಿ ದೋಸ್ ಯೋಗೀಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಮರ್ಜ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ತೇ ಹೇ ದ್ವಿಜ ಮೈತ್ರೇಯ ತೇ ಸಂಸಾರ ಕರ್ಷಣ ಉಕ್ತೌ ನಿರ್ಬೀಜತಾಂ ಯಾಂತಿ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಇಮರ್ಸ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಮರ್ಜ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ they do not have the seed to come back into this samsara samsara karshana uptau samsara karshanam uh, uh, is the plowed field so uh, karshana uptau in order to germinate inside imagine that this samsaram is like a field and uh, it has already been plowed really well all you have to do is put in a beja and a tree will grow so this samsara is this world and it is already plowed in the sense there are karma and everything is set uh, the the whole world has been created for the jiva to come in but we need the bijam for the jiva to come in that bijam for a jiva to grow that bijam is his karma vasana whereas our yogi whose mind is completely within the brahman they this bijam is not at all present there so nirbijatam yanti they go to a state where there is no bijam or seed for them to germinate in this worldly existence so nirbijatam yanti tyukte tatra vasana rahityat tesham tu tatra samsare vardhanartham bijam eva na vidyate tasmat nap sapunar avartate so they have no chance of coming back because there is no vasana for them to prompt into growth into this samsara yeah tatra anya gnana rodhena that anya gnana rodham is very important the vasana comes because of interaction with the world interaction with the avidya since their mind is completely within the brahman there is total cut off from this there is no interaction with this and you know if you are a parent of an elementary school child your last child has finished elementary you don't go back there right so they are total cut off there is no bijam there for for you to go and get connected with that pta there in elementary school it's like that you are done with that job so the yogis are completely done with this uh, samsara and their mind is completely in the high school which is brahman so their their attachment is there they do not come back to this samsara tatra anya gnana rodhena yogino yanti ye layam samsara karshana uptau upti upti is germination vap dhato so uptau te yanti nirbijatam dvija evam prakaram amalam nityam vyapakam akshayam samastahe yarahitam vishnu akhyam param padam paramam padam ಏಂ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ತದ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಪರಮಂ ಯೋಗಿ ಯಥೋ ನ ಆವರ್ತತೆ ಪುನಃ ಶ್ರಯತಿ ಅಪುಣ್ಯ ಉಪರಮೇ ಕ್ಷೀಣ ಕ್ಲೇಶೆ ಅತಿ ನಿರ್ಮಲೆ ಏಂ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನರ್ ದ ದ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ಡ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಏಂ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಅಮಲಂ ಶುದ್ಧ ಮಲ ನ ವಿದ್ಯ ಮಲಂ ಯಸ್ ನ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ಮಾಯಾ ಸಂಬದ್ಧ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ತಸ್ಯ ತು ಜನ್ಮ ಮರಣಾಧಿಕ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಇಟರ್ನಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಪಕ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಪರ್ವೇಡ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಪರ್ವೇಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಪಕ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಪರ್ವೇಡ್ಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ದೆನ್ ಅಕ್ಷಯ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ಪೆರಿಷಬಲ್ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಹೇಯರಹಿತಂ 
one who does not have anything perishable <coughs> within him <coughs> heya guna is something that we have to avoid in brahman there is nothing that has to be uh, avoided heya gunasya rahityam heyam is that should be that which has to be rejected samasta heya rahitam namak when we think of ourselves we have a lot of gunas that we have to remove from our mind ಲೈಕ್ ಕ್ರೋ ಕಾಮ ಕ್ರೋಧ ಇತ್ಯಾದಿಕಂ ತು ಹೇಯ ಗುಣಂ ವರ್ತದೆ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರಸ ತು ತತ್ರ ಹೇಯ ಗುಣಮೇವ ನಾವಿದ್ಯತೆ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಹೇಯ ರಹಿತ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಆಖ್ಯಂ ದಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸಿಗ್ನೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪರಮಂ ಪದಂ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಗೋಲ್ ತದ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಪರಮಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಯತ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಿಚ್ ಯೋಗಿ ಅ ಯೋಗಿ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಇದು ನ ಅಪುನ ಪುನಃ ಆವರ್ತತೆ ಶ್ರಯತಿ ಆಪುಣ್ಯ ಉಪರಮೇ ಕ್ಷೀಣ ಕ್ಲೇಶೆ ಅತಿ ನಿರ್ಮಲೆ ಅಪುಣ್ಯ ಉಪರಮೇ ಕ್ಷೀಣ ಕ್ಲೇಶೆ ಅತಿ ನಿರ್ಮಲೆ ಶ್ರಯತಿ ಹಿ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ರೆಫ್ಯೂಜ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಪಾಪಂ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ರಿಮೂವ್ಡ್ ಅ ಪುಣ್ಯ ಉಪರಮೇ ಆರ್ ವೇರ್ uh there is there is no papa punyam at all and where there is a balance of it kshina klesham and all his suffering is also gone tadrishe ati nirmale brahmani saha yogi shrayati he takes refuge in that param brahma in that supreme being which is completely pure and is uh, 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 it is it, it uh, the everything else is Uh, perished there kshina klesha once all of his sufferings is gone ta brahma paramam yogi yataha na avartate punaha shrayati punya uparame kshina klesha ati nirmale dve rupe brahmanaha tasya murtam cha amurtame vacha kshara akshara swarupe te sarva bhuteshu avasthite now that brahman turiya avastha brahman is there now that brahman as no, it, so Uh, after saying that he wants to give the two forms of brahman which we are able to relate to as we work towards that moksha right dve rupe brahmanah tasya tasya brahmanah for that brahman there are two forms which is murtam and amurtam uh, uh, murtam is uh, uh, something that is i think uh, maybe perishable and amurtam is non perishable uh murtam uh, is uh, something that is uh, vyaptam sarvatra uh, that which is attached to everything and that which is not attached to everything is amurta dravya khara akshara ru swarupe kharam is uh, you can say murtam is shape ah uh, rupa rahit sorry murta dravyam is uh, that which has a shape and chakshur grahyatvam yasya vidyate tattu murta dravyam vartate amurtam tu chakshur grahyatvam nasti that which cannot be perceived by the eye so there are two forms for this brahman one is the one with form one with shape the other is the formless entity one with the form is perishable kshara the one without the form is akshara so kshara akshara swarupe sarvabhuteshu avasthite dve rupe inside every being both forms are present there is a sakshi chaitanya and there is a jaitanya which performs everything also correct so there are two forms of these brahmans present in every entity aksharam tad paramam brahma kshanam sarvam idam jagat on a macro level if you look aksharam paramam brahma that param brahma is imperishable that which cannot be destroyed at all kshanam tu sarvam idam jagat the murta form of brahman is this jagat brahman is not non different from this world and sarvam idam jagat tu kshanam roopam vidyate brahmanah kshanam roopam eva etat sarvam jagat his perishable form is this world his imperishable form is the supreme being how can that be now he parashara gives an example of how to understand this ekadesh sthitasya agnehe ಜ್ಯೋತ್ಸ್ನಾ ವಿಸ್ತಾರಿಣಿ ಯಥ ಪರಸ್ಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಃ ಶಕ್ತಿ ತಥಾ ಇದಂ ಅಖಿಲಂ ಜಗತ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಬಲ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಯು ಲೈಟ್ ಎ ಫೈರ್ ಬಟ್ ದಟ್ ಫೈರ್ ದ ಜ್ಯೋತ್ಸ್ನಾ ದಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಫೈರ್ ಜ್ಯೋತ್ಸ್ನ
Jyotsna here means Prabha or just Kanti. Agrehe Kantistu Vistarini Bhavati. It spreads everywhere. You light a fire, just as how Ekadesh Sthitasya Agnehe. For an Agni, for a fire which is present in just one place, Jyotsna to Vistarini Bhavati. The light expands beyond the uh, fire. In the same way, Parabrahmanaha Shaktihi. The same way, the, the power of Parabrahman also spreads everywhere and has become like this entire world. Tatha idam akilam jatat. Tatra api asana duratvat bahutva swalpatam ayaha swalpata mayaha jyotsna bhedaha asti tat chakte he tadvat maitreya vidyate. Hey maitreya, look at the agni. As the Kanti goes from this center spot, it spreads wider and wider. But the place that is closest to the Agni will have the maximum light. The space that is most farther away from that Agni fire will, be, will have the smallest of fire. It's a very beautiful example to understand the bhutas in this world the more removed we are from that swayam prakasha swarupa the lesser that chaitanya swarupam is there in us the lesser that jnanam is there in us the more closer we get to that light the more bright uh, we also uh, 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 are you know, with the, the, the more closer we go the more jnanam uh, is present in us also that's the example he gives here. Tatra api asanna duratvat. Asannam is near. Duratvat far away. Bahutva svalpata maya. The form of svalpata, little and a lot, bahutvam, depends on whether it is far off or whether it is close by. Jyotsna bhedaha asti. So uh, there is a difference in the light because of either being stronger or feebler uh, because of being whether near to the fire or far from it. In the same manner, uh, the Shakti of Parabrahman also tadvatu, can be either less or strong, intense, depending on where the beings are present, whether they are closer to the Paramatman or very far off, remote from him. That's why Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva are all being very close to that Brahman. They have more power, whereas it just degrades as things come down from there. He's going to describe that in the next few shlokas. We'll see that next class. Narayanam, Namaskritti, Naranchayva, Narottama, Devim, Saraswatim, Vacham, Tatao, Jayam, Dheerayat. Okay. Any doubts? Any doubts? Yeah. Great example. Ah. <laughs> Oh. Great example. Okay.